Credit cards that change dynamically, phones that learn your habits, and get your very own personal avatar. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat TV. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by GoToMeeting, online meetings made easy. GeekBeat blogger Chris Cameron attended Demo this week and found out what credit cards of the future will look like. And not even the distant future, these are already circulating in the US. A company called Dynamics showed off cards that give us more security and options when it comes to our credit. Now, let me say I'm not a big advocate of going into debt using credit cards, but assuming you're a responsible adult, this is cool. And if you're not, go check out Dave Ramsey. Each of the cards have a programmable magnetic stripe, so the information on the cards can be dynamically changed or wiped. One card, called Multi-Account, has two different credit card numbers that you can switch between by clicking a button. No second card necessary. The other card is called Hidden. Part of the credit card number is actually hidden until you enter a security code on the card card itself. When it's not active, the magnetic stripe has no information on it, so if it's stolen, who cares? Watch the video and find out more at geekbeat.tv slash credit cards. I told you about AnyBots on a previous show. It's a robot on two wheels, kind of like a Segway, that can be driven remotely. The idea is to use it for conferencing without the hassle of having to be tied to a computer. Show a client or CEO around the office, meet people in different rooms, just have the ability to move. They recently had a launch party in San Francisco with AnyBots roaming around, but I wasn't in town, so I begged John P, who was in town, to take a camera and get me some footage. Here's Trevor, as well as Robert, who's driving the AnyBots. How do you describe these, these artificial life forms that you've created here? Well, I think an avatar is the best word. That, that describes what we use them for. Um, Robert's sort of here, even though he's physically somewhere else. So Robert can see us, yep. and uh, I see a picture of Oscar the Grouch here <laughs> in, in, as, as Robert's face. Uh, Robert, I, I sympathize with that character quite a bit. Yep. <laughs> you, hear, you hear everything we're saying just fine? Oh, yeah, certainly. And how far away uh, are people typically when they're operating these devices, or where can you be? How does it work? Um, I've done it from home, and I've done it from Hawaii and Canada and all over the place. So what would be the application? Why would someone want an avatar that they could use from a remote location? Because video conferencing is not, it's, it's not the same as being there. And so we're trying to find something that's closer to being there, you know, where you can walk up and greet people, you can see them in their environment, and you can, you know, really get a feel for what's happening in a place. Um. <laughs> it, it appears that robots can remotely make you just as uncomfortable as humans when they get right up in your face. Are you close talking? Robert, how are you doing there? <laughs> that's exactly where I would be standing in <laughs> Yeah, you can as close as possible. So you're from New York then, is that yeah. what? <laughs> so, so what happens if I just push you away? You know, I mean, there's two wheels here. This thing looks like a Segway or something to me. How does this technology work? You can push it around uh, with one finger, even. There you go. <laughs> um. But he just, he just comes. <laughs> he comes that's right fun back, for yeah. Robert. He just comes right on back. We're going to dance and make yeah. out and everything else now, right? <laughs> It's the first of its kind. When they start shipping in November, you'll be able to stream two-way video instead of just one, like in the clip. But can you imagine what doors this opens up in terms of the future of video conferencing and even personal communication? I can see the ad. Get your own personal avatar. There's lots more. Watch the entire video at geekbeat.tv slash anybots. 3M is combining camera capability with projection capability with their shoot and share device. With its camera, it'll record 720p video in an MP4 format and take five megapixel stills. Then it'll display that video or those stills on a wall or flat surface at 640 by 480. The projector has 14 lumens of brightness, but I hear it's not as dim as it sounds. It's $299 and has HDMI and a micro SD slot. When you need to save money, who doesn't, and travel less, GoToMeeting is ready to help you out. You can host sales presentations, train your team, demo products, all sorts of things. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days by going to GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use code GEEK to make sure they know I sent you. How would you like your phone to learn your habits and moods and adjust accordingly? Intel says it's possible and it's working to make it happen. It sounds creepy, but here's how they see it as a good thing. Imagine if your phone knew that you usually wake up at 7 a.m. and have a habit of checking certain apps on your 
phone first thing. Then maybe you go for a run and listen to music. Around lunchtime, you may check your bank account, and so on and so forth. Then imagine if your phone understood those habits and moved your apps around on your phone to accommodate those habits so you always have what you need when you need it. What do you think about this? Leave a comment. I hope you all have a great weekend. If you're up for some fun, check out the most popular post on the Geek Beat blog this week, Human Pac-Man. It's a stop motion video with people detecting classic video games. Nothing but awesomeness, I swear. Geekbeat.tv slash arcade stop motion. Thanks for watching and for subscribing to the show. I'm Callie Lewis, bye. Around on your phone to accommodate those habits. So what, so, I totally screwed that up. Sorry. <laughs> Oops.